Hello everyone, this is Chris Martel, and in this quick tutorial I'm going to illustrate how to make a very simple untapped visual feedback effect in KLWP. Technically, this method works to make anything you want appear and disappear right away on tap. I'm going to work on the editor in landscape mode just to visualize it a bit better. By now, you should already have your setup finished. This effect is something that should be done at the very end, so you can calibrate the color and transparency you'll use in your setup. First, change the background to a darker color to visualize the effect better. Now, let's create a global switch, which will be what triggers the effect. Let's just call it Tap. Go back to items and add a font icon to assign a touch action, but you can use whatever you want. Center the item. Let's choose the fingerprint icon just because it looks cool. Let's make it 200 in size and let's just leave it white. Go to touch and assign the touch to the toggle global switch that was set up previously. Now add a shape and center it. Make it a circle, but you can use any shape you want. Make it a bit larger than the icon. In this case, let's make it 260. And change the color to whatever you want but I'm just going to use white semi-transparent for this tutorial. Now go to animation and add one to react on a global switch and choose the global switch you set up at the beginning. Animation action, complex animation, is normal. In the animator, I'm going to add three comments. By the way, I'm not going to go too deep about complex animations. If you want to learn more about them, check out Brandon Craft's channel. He has a couple good videos about it. Link in the description. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick explanation of what's happening. This first comment will tell KLWP that at the beginning of the animation, I want the shape to be completely transparent. In this second comment, I want the shape to be 100% visible in the middle of the animation. And in the third one, I want the shape to go back to complete transparency. Something like this. The animation depends on the duration you set here. I'm gonna use 4 so it's a fast animation, but you can set it to whatever you want. That's it. Now let's save and test it.
All right, cool. It's working. Now, the last touch. Add another animation to react on the same global switch. But in this case, it's going to be a scale out animation that I'm going to invert so the shape looks like it grows on tap. And I'm going to match the duration time. Now let's save it again and test it. There you go. The only issue with adding the scale animation is that when you retap the module, it scales back in. But if you're okay with that, go ahead. I have actually used this method in two of my themes and it looks good. Okay, that's it. That's the effect. Pretty straightforward. And there you have it. I believe this tutorial shows the main idea, but let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this tutorial or any other design topics and I'll try to make a video about it. I'm gonna keep making more design tutorials for KLWP among other things. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. That's all for today, thanks for watching y hasta la próxima.